Ambient lighting is getting more and more important for car interior design with backlit trim and dynamic applications. In modern cars, it is more and more used also to realize functions and seamlessly merging also with the human-machine interfaces. Hello, my name is Alex Wanderer and I'm heading Global Application Marketing for Automotive at AMS Osram. And today I want to introduce you the Open System Protocol for ambient lighting and more. Animated functional ambient lighting and integrated user interfaces are adding a lot of complexity to modern cars. A reliable and flexible and easy to implement communication backbone for this is needed as the car system architectures are centralizing and the number of control units have to be reduced. And over the air updates are getting the new standard. For that purpose, AMS Osram has developed the so called Open System Protocol. And this protocol is open for everybody and free of any license. It is based on a master slave architecture, allowing to control more than 1,000 devices individually in a chain. The OSP ecosystem is an open protocol platform, which can be used by everybody without any limitations. And that means no license and full access to protocol descriptions. Partners can participate in the network and make use of the protocol to implement it in their own devices and differentiate by adding their own features and innovation. OSP is for that purpose split into the so-called base protocol covering the lower three layers of the OSI reference model and an application layer that is device specific and under full control of our partners to implement their own features. So any innovation in the end comes from partners and belongs to partners. Let me show you this demonstrator explaining some features of OSP and the first products AMS Osram has developed for this ecosystem. In this demo, we have a standard automotive MCU controlling several PCBs to show the features of OSP. Animated ambient lighting, the integration of other LEDs into OSP, like for second sources, higher power classes, side lookers, the integration of sensors and actors over I2C bridge devices and very flat and bendable designs, for example, for injection molded electronics. And the high flexibility of the system architecture per se. Besides of our leading smart RGB device, we have already developed a standalone LED driver that can be placed on the OSP chain to drive LEDs of choice that do not speak the OSP language or even bridge between OSP and the I2C interface. By that, it allows to integrate sensors or actors to the user interface directly on OSP setup. We are proud to see that this OSP is growing and quickly adopted by partners and customers as it is open, free of license, transparent and flexible. And if you are now interested to use OSP in your products or you want to learn how to get part of the OSP ecosystem as a partner. To build your own devices, you can find our OSP-based documentation and white papers and the contact form on the OSP website. With this, I'd like to thank you and I'm looking forward to collaborate to bring the automotive interior to the next level.